I'm watching the yak today because I, I want to be a good teammate with TJ. We're still we're still building our rapport here on the show, and uh, TJ's TJ's true love is the yak. I know that that's your that's your that's your real baby that you love here. Um, so I watch the yak when I can, and today I'm watching and I hear I this is a direct quote from Nick Tarani. Uh, a solo podcast is how you know you're a crazy person. I hear did, this. Oh yes, yes. I, I hear this set on the. Uh, <laughs> I hear this set as I'm prepping my notes for tonight uh, to do a solo podcast. Meanwhile, um, Roan Roan uh, just out of nowhere is attacking me. So what the hell's going on, TJ? Is this like? I, I thought like you being involved in both shows would help me with this i, I couldn't help but notice that you could stay pretty silent as all this was happening yeah i don't well, want to mix uh, mix church and state i guess uh roan roan got caught in the uh in the algorithm he was in the our tiktok comments looking for he was, answers he was <laughs> so what happened because you sent me you sent me a tiktok link and you're like we have to address this on the show i yeah. I clicked on the TikTok link. I do, I, I do not have TikTok. I will never download TikTok. I don't even know what TikTok is. TikTok terrifies me. Um, and I clicked on the link and I thought my phone was going to explode. And so I just like threw my phone away real quick. And I was like, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, but the best I could make sense of everything is that the people are going crazy about uh, me saying that the NBA should maybe get rid of the draft. Is that is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I, I think it was just bold enough of a take. <laughs> Like it, to say something like an American sports should dissolve their draft system just because it's just crazy enough that it like played right into the TikTok's hands and like that TikTok caught some traction on the gambling page and the comments are mean. There, there's people call saying you don't know ball. Oh you, you, no, this guy I've lost the barstool TikTok comment <laughs> section. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Resign? Are there any resigns? Are there any? Who is this clown? Yeah, that we, uh, sir, please step down. <laughs> um. Yeah. I so I, I was I was watching the yak and Rona. Uh, yeah. Rona called me out for one. I said that Adam Silver. I don't like Adam Silver. Uh, he had three points of contention. One was that I said Adam Silver stinks, but I like the play in. Which um, I will I will confess I wasn't super articulate with uh. <laughs> right. How I delivered that in the last show, but because I basically said uh, I Adam Silver sucks. Um. And until he does something good, uh, I I will continue to think he sucks. But also, I said I like the playing game. What I meant, the whole point of bringing up that Adam Silver stinks as a commissioner is that I wanted to still give this man his due and say that I I enjoy the hell out of these playing games. I do. I think um, that that this this for me this is like the one stroke of genius that he's had as commissioner, whether it's his idea or not. Like this is his baby, and this is like what he's gotten very excited about and thrown his weight behind and uh i i think it works in this regard as it turns out watching basketball where the players are care immensely and also the loser goes home that's that's very fun that's very that that, that as it turns and and when you take a game that like there's no world in which the pelicans playing the thunder this year would have got my attention there's i i if, if that game's on espn on a random uh wednesday night in, in January, I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. They're, they're too good. They're two teams that like are not good enough to move the needle for me. I know the, the Thunder. We'll talk about the Thunder a little bit later. They're they're young and they're going to be great in the future. Um, but but because of the context of what this game was, I, I I'm excited about it and I watched every second of it and it was fun and I had a great time. And the same with the Bulls game tonight. Uh, I thought that, that that felt like a college basketball game in some ways, just like a, an absolute slugfest defensively. I don't I don't know. I I, I it, it, he 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 takes games that should not matter. He makes them matter. I wanted to give him his due, but also at the same time, I think Adam. So I I'm a David Stern guy. And uh, I think Adam, I, the, the, watching what the NBA has become, just is, is I'm not a fan of it. So I, I, Adam Silver, I think like I think Adam Silver wants to be the cool uncle more than he wants to be the commissioner. I think Adam Silver looks back on a basketball season and measures his success. Like success to him is dapping up guys at the draft and not screwing up. That's what he. That's how if he can do that well and look like he's friends with the guys as they walk on stage at the draft. Then he's like, I did it. I did my job as commissioner. I'm the cool guy. Everyone says I'm the cool guy. And I watch this as a basketball fan. I'm like, that's not your job. What are we doing? Like, make the league more interesting and more fun and, like, do a better job. Um, get rid so of the, the draft. Whole, get rid of the draft. But he'll never get rid of the draft because he loves dapping dudes up. Uh, so the whole, po- the whole point I was trying to make and the whole reason I said I don't like Adam Silver was just to basically say, like, 
you know, I, 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 I'm not a full fledged hater. Like I can't, I'm not like just, I don't put my blinders on and say everything this man does sucks. Like he, I, 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 I wanted to tip my cap and say, I may not like you, but damn it. I respect your playing game. Um, so I'll address that point. The second one Roan came at me with, when I said that this was the worst season of my lifetime, and then he cited the the playoffs being wide open, or people are citing like the playoffs being wide open and the MVP race, which uh, we'll get to in a second, by the way, the MVP race. But the playoffs being wide open, TJ, has nothing to do with the regular season. So I don't understand. I don't know if Roan really said that, but there, I, I've least, had a lot of people yeah, at least chirping at me about that. that. was because he's a 76ers guy. Exactly. And then that brings me to the third point, which uh, the TikTok people are going nuts about. This uh, this idea that uh, getting rid of the draft is insane. Um, I first want to say that this was not even my idea, and I thought I said that on the show. I, maybe that got clipped out of the TikTok. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but uh, this was... I, I remember saying it on the... I, I had no notes for this because uh, I, it just kind of came to me as we were talking, and then I just riffed on it, and I was like, yeah, somebody I remember suggesting su- suggesting that uh, they should just do away with the draft in the NBA and that would limit or that would do away with tanking because, uh, you know, no one would have any incentive to, to be really bad at that point. Um, and I remember reading that and thinking, oh, that's an interesting idea. And then we're doing the show and it just popped into my head and I rolled with it and I couldn't remember where I got that idea from. So I go back, TJ, now that everyone's come, coming at me because like I, I, the way it was presented on our show and the way that uh, it was presented on TikTok apparently was that like I'm just some deranged guy in the blogosphere just throwing out like harebrained theories. Um, you know where this originated? You know where I, you, you know the first time I ever heard about this? It was a man by the name of Stan Van Gundy who was the sitting head coach of the Detroit Pistons at the time in 2017 when he had this idea. <laughs> He put this idea out six years ago as a head coach in the NBA. Like this isn't this wasn't like some like crackpot idea that I had. I remember reading. It. I was like, oh, that's really interesting that a guy of that that uh, you know stature in the league would would have that thought. Um, and then I thought about it more, and like the 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 fact that nobody has has come up with like a coherent rebuttal to this makes me i'm starting to because this is the other point i brought this up not even like i fully believed it i was just like spitballing trying to think of ideas um but then the fact that no everyone has said this is a shitty idea but nobody has come up with an actually coherent rebuttal as to why it's a bad idea i'm starting to think this is actually an insanely awesome idea and they they need to do this like i'm fully on board with getting rid of the draft at this point the the only attempts at responses people had in the comment section were why would anyone ever go to a small market ever then yeah um and yeah the as i said the coach of the detroit pistons said that this was a good idea so you're telling me that like the guy who was coaching the detroit pistons <laughs> i don't know i i it, and the and the, you know why they'll go to the small market money because we'll get we'll keep the salary cap I think his part of his plan. I went back and read the article from 2017. Uh, his, his the other part of his plan was keep the salary cap, get rid of max contracts, so you can just basically each individual can negotiate whatever they're worth, and you're not going to have super teams at that point because you're going to when LeBron's in his prime, he's going to be making 70 million dollars, 80 million dollars a year, whatever, and you only have X amount of money. Uh, to, to distribute amongst your entire team, so it's not like you're going to sign the five best players in the in the league. You don't you won't have enough money for it. You won't the, the salary cap will come into play. I don't know. I, I've yet to hear a coherent thing other than just like why would anyone want to go to Detroit? And then Stan Van Gundy, the guy who was coaching Detroit, was like, "This is my idea." So I don't know. I feel like I feel like that kind of outweighs whatever the TikTok commenters are saying. That's just that's just how I see it. So anyway, you got to get your revenge. You got to become commissioner, dethrone Adam Silver in phase one, obviously, and then defunct the draft phase two, and then you'll be right. Uh, while we're addressing the haters, I, I want to go back to something Roan said about the. Uh, I, I said this is the worst season of my life, and he pointed out the MVP race. Um, I, I don't. I mean, the, the Roan stuff really bothered me. I, I, I should say TJ because uh, I I I know guys I uh, that that run the. Uh, I, I have people that are affiliated with the Paul George podcast, and when that beef was going on that he had with the the doofus of the Paul George podcast, I stood up for Roan. I reached out to my guys that that work with those guys. And I said, stand down. I said, you don't know the beast that you're going up against here. Like, do not, you do not want this smoke from this man. 
And uh, I never told Roan I did that. I didn't need to tell Roan I did that. I didn't want the credit. I just was like, you know, I, I feel like this is what I should do. Um, and this is, this is how he repays me. And he calls me out out of nowhere on the yak. And I just, you know, I, I, I feel some type of way about it. So I thought I'd address it. But one of the things that really hurt me too is that he was talking about the MVP race. And obviously, as you said, he's a Sixers fan. So he's really invested in Joel Embiid. And I just felt like, again, I didn't want to call attention to this on my show. I, I, I sort of tweeted it with the uh, the the uh, monocle emoji, which is like, huh? Like in my mind, it's like interesting. I'm gonna take a look at this, but I never really provided commentary or anything. Um, but now I've been put in a position where I have to address this on the show. TJ, I don't know if you saw this. Joel Embiid is good at basketball because of me, literally because of me. I'm starting. I'm start. I, I think this is. I, I think I'm responsible. So like, Rones attacking me. Meanwhile, the whole reason you guys have an MVP candidate is because of me. And I'm going to explain to our listeners why that is the case. Because uh, this guy named Trunk Fan um, on Twitter recirculates an old story from 2018 in the Players' Tribune uh, when Joel Embiid was, was, was basically recounting like how he picked up basketball and, and how he got good at basketball. And he said when he was 16 years old and he started playing basketball, he searched YouTube for, quote, white people shooting three-pointers. That's what he searched for. Because he was he realized that like like basically white guys can shoot like he, he he I don't know maybe he watched Hoosiers and was like Jimmy Chitwood I don't know I got to find like these other Jimmy Chitwoods out there so he, he searches on YouTube white people shooting three pointers TJ now let me give you a timeline of of what's going on so Joel Embiid was 16 years old when he when he searched this this man was born March 16th 1994 so he turned 16 March 16th 2010 now I posted on YouTube. In 2010, in January, a little video called Mr. Rainmaker, where it's the whole conceit of the video is is me, a white man, just bombing threes and just showing off my skills as a shooter. That's it. Um, and I I guess where I come at it from, from all that, like now Joel Embiid never said like, shout out Mark Titus, Mr. Rainmaker, but what I would challenge people out there to, uh, to, to, to prove me wrong on, TJ, is is there a video from that time with more views that falls under the category of white guys shooting threes. Like if you're Joe, like I, I really truly believe that like, I think I had the preeminent white guy shooting three video of 2010 as Joel Embiid turned 16 years old. Your thoughts. It's, I, I think that Mr. Rainmaker is one of the primitive white guys shooting threes videos ever. Period. Nothing like Period. that short of maybe like a Kevin Love like Cavs or Timberwolves highlight package from yeah pre twenty eighteen or whatever. Yeah, but but this was twenty ten. So like yeah. this was you know like how many how many videos were on YouTube of white guys shooting threes? Not a ton, I, I would imagine. So like is is am I the reason Joel Embiid might win MVP? I don't know. I I don't know. I I I'm starting to think that might be the case. Um, <laughs> we might need to uh, to get Ron on the pod to hash. this I think out. we might have to hash this out. Yeah, tell him bring Pat we Bev. Bev. We'll do a crossover. Bring Pat Bev. We'll do a crossover. Um, yeah, I, I that just came out of nowhere, and I, I guess it makes more sense now. As you said, the algorithm, I get, the algorithm killed me, huh? I guess yeah, we it was were, just I got like, chewed up by the algorithm. You might have got a bad edit, but in a way that it was a, <laughs> it was a good edit because it got people's attention, which was the point of the video. Well, TikTok. what really? I think the reason I really took offense to it was he. I, it, if I remember right, I don't know if this is a direct quote, but I, I felt like he said that I was on some Mean Girl shit. Where my uh, understanding of, I, I, I gotta be careful. Whoever whoever <laughs> runs our socials and is clipping these TikToks, I want nothing to do with the Mean Girls controversy. Do not do not involve me in any way, shape, or form. I my understanding of what that was at Barstool was like the the two women that we have there that do their show have just been saying some really wild shit and the accusations are that they don't even believe it they're just saying it to 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 do what i did to have the algorithm like basically pick it up and like like enrage the internet the conspiracy is that they sit down and like what can we say in a clip that will get the most people to watch our episode so they said the dinosaurs didn't exist one week and then the very next week, they said uh, no one washes their hands after they go to so, the bathroom. So, yeah, so this is, like, if Rowan would have been like, I disagree with the take, I think I can handle that, TJ. When he's like, I, 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 I am starting to wonder if Titus is purposely, not only do I disagree with the take, I think the take is so stupid that... <laughs> 
<laughs> that he had, there's a conspiracy at play where he's trying to literally say the dumbest thing he could say to to get engagement on TikTok. <laughs> Which I took personally. I took personally. So we might have to have Roan on the pod to discuss and uh, and have him thank me for uh, making Joel Embiid the player he is today.